Because that is always unfun. Alright. Copy machine. I thought I just saw, like, red flash for a second there. Ah. Oh, fuck off! Why is that thing suddenly so fucking powerful? Oh, it's alive! I think. Fuck! The fact that I can do that feels ugh, kind of cheap, except that it apparently can do that, so fuck you. Waiting. Come on. Okay, so the abandoned offices and a few other places, but um, <coughs> I'll probably cut a good portion of it unless something interesting happens, which I have my doubts. Why do I keep forgetting that I can teleport like everywhere here? I'm very smart is why. Incredibly smart. Where would I mail it? Oh, oh yeah, the pneumatic tubes. That's one cent. Uh, observ observation deck and the utility corridor. Oh, wrong way. I'm hearing so many really terrifying sounds, and I don't like it. Uh, observation deck. There, transit terminal. <clears throat> Upstairs, I think. Gross. Yeah, there we go. Two down, one to go. And the utility corridor, which I need to 
get to. Uh, so I need to get back to where I was before and I think active investigations, I think is what it said. E yes. Oh yeah, there's some stuff I picked up and I didn't actually read. Oh, uh, Night Springs screenplay I don't care about. Frey Morrow summary. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Framaro Highlands of the Moon. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. Redacted, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They also... They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the force when asked. The entity seemed affected by... The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its present feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA's security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Dad had called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. Oh. <sighs> The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material can be found at Redacted. Its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility unit, EMU, spacesuit used by NASA astronauts, the same model worn by the other crew. This could be authentic EMU taken from one of the NASA astronauts, though the suit does not bear any wearer's name, or one materialized through redacted conversion or possibly redacted corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry. The EMU is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed, though this seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrograph imag imaging have shown redacted shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. Also, I just remembered... Oops. Uh, there was a th thing... Um, in the last stream I was in. in that like, seemed to lead away. So, I'm gonna go look at that before someone murders me. Uh... I am a speedy. <laughs> ah, there's a thingy here. Oh god, that's so bright. Oh, is this the thing? Yeah, here we go. Uh, 
So it should be in the service ducks. I kind of wish you could get back up there, though. Ah, oh, I was hoping. I was hoping that. Uh... Damn. It'd be cool if you could step on something and then uh, use it to levitate yourself. I wonder if this will break when I go downstairs again. Yep. Whatever, when I teleport back, it'll reload the area and it'll be fine. But why? Like, that seems so pointless. Oh, there it is. I totally missed that the first time around. <clears throat> there we go. I'm the bringer of light. Oop. Why is it so dark back there? Okay, sure. Alright, so active investigations again so I can go that way. I wonder if Langston will have something to say to me. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people mm -hmm. treat me different. Like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. We.
Again. Pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's just going to talk forever. I always make it home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in. talk if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of Wee. Where are you, asshole? He died when I wasn't looking. Uh, now what? Where go though? Oh no, it's probably yeah, it's probably that way. I'm shut up, I'm an idiot. Like this. This seems like a great place for Mr. Darkness Man to show up and make me regret being alive. sake. There we go. This makes me a little bit happier. Only a little bit mind.
This is the director. I need backup at my location. Make way for the director. I am a director, yes. Where'd he go? my friends oh fuck mistakes are made friend. Where's my foe? Did it. I did most of the work, but thanks, buddy. Is that where I came from? The answer is no. Oh. Oh. They only so follow you so far, though, which is unfortunate. Um. Okay. Where do I go? Wait, didn't I go this way and there was nothing? Unless I need to go up higher? Maybe that's it. Hey guys. I wrecked your shit. My apologies, except not really. Gross. Come on. Brain missing? 
to the good for nothings at the security check. I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through the metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now I don't know which it is and I can't remember what you did to me. But I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back and you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. Okay. Come on. I like having a million of these. Just collecting them. Like you do. There it is. Last one. letter get in here. I wonder if I could track it to the source. Oh, Christ. think there's anything else here. There's another Night Springs script that, like, I, there, I honestly find them really boring to read. No AC, Gross. No mold spore circulation. I might get a bit stuffy in here. Alright, I need- to, I should do all of the red doors. Excuse you. What else is there? There's a really annoying bug flying around. Okay, all the orange ones are going to be needed for that, I guess. And this is the blue ones. I don't- I'm not sure. Here's a blue one. Yeah, no, I don't have enough. I need to open up that last one. Okay. Okay. Can you not? Orange. 
Yeah, that one only goes to there. Uh, that's a yellow. Can you not? Yellow's right up there. Where's the other orange one? So blue. 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 That one's yellow. That one's also blue. Is there anything up here for me to look at? No? Okay. Anyways, I need red. I think. Oh, I need yellow. Okay. Can you stop? And that one. Hooray. Remind me, the law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. What does that mean? You know, at some point I also think... Hooray! Claim counterpoint. Control point, rather. I'm smart. I'm not an idiot. Ah. On that cheery note, I think that means it's time to end things. <laughs> uh, I'm getting very tired. I don't know why. Probably from the chronic lack of sleep I've been getting since school started. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.